Now, if you want to fix the NAT type unavailable on your Xbox Series X or S, well, there are a few things that you may want to do here. So first thing that you want to do is you want to restart everything to refresh the network. So when the NAT shows unavailable, it usually means the Xbox couldn't properly talk to the Xbox servers. So just fully shut down the Xbox, then unplug your modem and router for about like 30 seconds, then power the modem on first and wait until the internet is fully back then power the router and finally turn the xbox on now this alone fixes a lot of NAT issues next thing that you want to do is you want to go and just check the NAT status again on your xbox so once the xbox boots up you want to go to settings go to network then go to network settings and let it uh, run the test now if not now shows open or moderate the problem was just a bad network refresh now, if it still says, unav says unavailable here, the issue is almost always router side. So, next thing you want to do is you want to enable UPnP on your router. So, your Xbox relies on the router to manage NAT, and that's where UPnP, Universal Plug and Play, comes in. Log into your router settings, make sure UPnP is on. Now, this depends on your router settings, maybe different, but I would highly recommend you to check your, uh, in this case, your manual if you can. So, yeah, you, the UPnP lets the Xbox automatically open the network path it needs to for multiplayer and party chat. Now, if you're still having some problems, you may want to try a wired Ethernet connection as well. So if you're on Wi-Fi, plug the Xbox directly into your router using an Ethernet cable. Now, this removes wireless interference, so it gives the console a more or console the cleanest possible connection to detect that property. Now, if it doesn't fix every case, every case that, but it's an important test here. So yeah, also consider your internet provider network setup. So if UPnP is enabled and NAT still unavailable, your ISP may be using carrier-grade NAT. That means multiple homes share on public IP address and your Xbox can't get the access it needs. So, so at that point, contacting the ISP and asking if you can assign a public IP, uh, uh, assign a public IP is usually the real fix here. And finally, you may want to recheck NAT once changes are done. So after any router or ISP change here, restart the Xbox and run the network test again. Once NAT shows open or moderate, online multiplayer and party chat usually uh, start working normally again. And that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.